All right, as you can well see, Congresswoman Jackie Speer is in the Bay Area this week, and she is joining us here today. Great to have you with us. Thank Always you. Always great up. to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, let's start with the big story. Obviously, the ongoing shakeups at the White House. Rex Tillerson is out. McMaster might be next as National Security Advisor. What do you make of all this? You're in Washington all the time. I, I mean, this this level of chaos and unpredictability, which the president enjoys, he actually finds it appealing, is doing great damage for our country both with our allies who think they can't count on us and for our adversaries who think this is the time to take advantage We're of the weak fact. in some way or oh absolutely chaotic right he does seem to enjoy it do you think he believes it is somehow productive i think what happened is his first year he was a little timid and sort of played by the rules but now that he's been there a year he says now I, i'm in control so i mean hiring talking heads on fox is not bringing us the level of expertise we need to make really dramatic uh, decisions about our economy, about our national security, and yet he seems to be uh, just attracted to these people who can talk well, but may not know anything about the actual um, departments they would be working for. Well, and yesterday I know that uh, Nancy Pelosi talked about uh, Connor Lamb's victory in Pennsylvania. And a lot of people are thinking of this as a bellwether for the midterm elections, Democrat winning in a, uh, in a, uh, for a House seat in a state that uh, Donald Trump carried a significant margin. 21 points. Does this really say anything, or is it just a function of uh, the, the, the Republicans controlling both the White House and both houses of Congress, and people like to mix things up? If you remember, when President Obama was first elected, we controlled, the Democrats controlled both the House and the Senate. And the following midterms, we lost like 60 seats. So the American public does not like to have all the power in just one party. And so it's likely that they're going to lose seats. They're now, we're not talking about a blue wave. We need 24 to retake the House again. So we'll see if we're successful in doing that. All right, now, Connor Lamb says he would not campaign or support uh, Congresswoman Pelosi. Do you think other Democrats will do the same thing? Is she in trouble? I don't know. No, I don't believe she's in trouble. There were members that didn't support her in you know previous uh, races for the leadership. Um, I think she knows how to count. She also is very savvy. She's going to do what's best for the American people and what's best for the Democratic Party. All right. I know you could run down a long list of things you believe that President Trump has done poorly. Is there anything you think he's done well since he took off? Well, he actually has raised some important issues on trade. You know, when two-thirds of the jobs lost from 2000 to 2007 came as a result of China being admitted into the WTO, the World Trade Organization, and that we've seen a million jobs lost, we do need to hold them accountable more. Uh, we have like a 2.5% tariff for automobiles coming from China. They have a 25% right, tariff right. for automobiles uh, going from the United States. So there needs to be greater fairness there. So you think he's to some degree on track there? He's on track if he does it right. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's switch gears dramatically and talk about something that's very near to, and dear to your heart, something you started, the Professional Business Women's Conference yes. in San Francisco at the Moscone Center coming, I guess, April 24th. We're a proud sponsor of that event. You everywhere. are and have been for a very long time. Well, did you ever envision this becoming the event it has become? It's a major event now. It is a major event, and it's it's lasted. You know, it it's, has its own brand. It's been around now for almost 30 years, and we, you know we've had some of the most remarkable people come and speak, and five to six thousand women come every year to network, to have professional development, and it's a very inspiring experience for all of us. Uh, Maria Shriver will speak this year. Yes. Who else will be there? Do you? Know? Um, there's a, a number of, of speakers. We're going to have a whole panel on sexual harassment, and Ashley Judd will be among them, uh, some of the other great leaders in the sexual harassment prevention movement. So no doubt the Me Too movement will play a big role in the discussion this year, I would imagine. Before we let you go, talk about what has happened in Hollywood and in business communities and businesses around the country in terms of sexual harassment and awareness. There's an incredible transformation and enlightenment. Enlightenment. I, I do believe that this is not just a moment. You know, this is a uh, a sea change. A sea change, and I would give Hollywood a lot of credit, but I would also give women across this country a lot of credit because um, January 21st, 2017, the largest march in the history of this country was the women's march that took place uh, across this country, and five million women participated. All right. All right. 
Thank you so much for being here. Great to be with you. And good luck with the conference. We'll see you there. Congresswoman All right. Jackie Spear, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you.